Welcome to this player hack information sharing video on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLEP. Okay, a couple of things to preface this video with. One, if you like realistic farming and you want to play realistically, this would not be for you. This is in no way realistic. It's not even semi-realistic. This is a player hack. Um, and what I mean by player hack is that this is a life hack. This is something, a method, a system, a way of making a process quicker and easier to save you time and just just speed things up, make life a little bit easier. Now this takes into account a few different mods and sometimes this happens that certain mods come out and combined together can do a certain function that they were never intended to do and then like I say in the real world they never would do this was sent in to me by Chris so thank you Chris he sent me a couple of pictures and I thought you know what I'm just going to do a quick video on this because it's, it's, it's brilliant um, this may speed up time for you now they're all different configurations and you may go off on down a different route with this and that's that's kind of the point is if it kind of gets the creative juices flowing and you think oh hang on a minute I could try this this and this now you don't have to use a tractor unit a, a truck or lorry you can use an actual tractor with a dolly if you want to that's the type of tune now this takes in one the MTU 60 tanker that comes as part of the liquid silo pack um, by Missy B and Foo Farmer so this is a 60,000 litre MTU 60 okay that's the first thing you're going to need um the next you're going to need because this now comes with a trailer hitch on the back which it never used to before that means now that potentially you can hook up this this is the front lifter this is by pepe 978 now this has been out a little while anything that's got a trailer hitch this will hook up to and give you a three point link and now this is where things get a little bit you know because people immediately said but well, that's ridiculous because on tractors that don't have them necessarily on the front you can hook it up and it will give you a PTO attachment and you can kind of go down that route of it's been attached you know it's been jury rigged and made to work now obviously this doesn't have a three-point link on here so by hooking that on and putting that on you kind of give yourself a three-point link that's the first element of not particularly realistic let's be honest it's not then you add to that this now this tanker will take slurry, digestate, milk, water, death, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, you name it. So at the moment I've got digestate in this. This is part of the, was it the horse pack? I think it was the horse aggravation pack that came out. And this is a drag hose setup. This goes out to 36 meters. So with a 60,000 liter tank, 36 meter drag hose, you can see the possibilities. You can go a lot further in your fields without running out, which makes this thing really, really handy. And a combination of the lot. Now, when this all hooks up, is the connection between the three-point link and this correct? No. It, it doesn't hook up how it should do. It doesn't even look like it should do, but it works. And that's the point. That's what I'm saying about it. it's not realistic. If that's what you want, and you want it to all look absolutely pristine and perfect and how it should be, again, this is not for you. But we're going to hook it up and see. Now, the great thing about this, potentially now then, is anything from that section. So the slurry tanks here, and this is something I'm going to point out to you. These ones here that hook up and that will slurry or digestate, will fertilise your field and cultivate, you can hook these up too. So there's this one here. I think I've got the Samson out. So you can cultivate and slurry at the same time. Fertilise. Now, this one won't work because you need to be able to get the tanker in to hook it up. So the glide fix will work from the Holman Terra variant DLC because when that's placed on the ground, that's wide open anyway. Uh, the vibro grabber will work. Um, but this one here is the one I've got, the Drag Coast 36, because it's a 36 metre. Um, you can use the injector and you know, whatever will hook up with a three-point link. And like I say, it's not supposed to, but it does work. Um, and that's my point, is this on the ground is wide open, which means you can back the trailer in. The Samson one isn't. It's closed really tight and you can't get the tanker in to get this to work. So, first things first then. Now, what I will say, when I first attached this rear... Th this rear three-point link, the front lifter, my front attachment went all floaty, look. 
it's gone a little bit wobbly. That's a bit weird at the front there. So all I did, disconnect, and then reconnect, and then you're fine. I think it's just a combination of putting that rear front lifter on, on the back, and it suddenly thinks, hang on a minute, and it just goes a little bit wobbly. So just disconnect the, the main tanker, and you'll be fine. So I have got 60,000 litres of digestate. Hook that up. And I'll show you what I mean around the back here. These connections here don't hook up to anything. The three-point link lower arms do, but there's no connection of tubes, pipes, hoses, anything like that. Like I say, it's not supposed to work like this, but it does. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Now, you're going to need a fairly meaty tractor unit if you're going to be doing stuff like this on hills, anything with a slight gradient, because with a 60,000 litre tanker on this, um, it's obviously going to be um, a little bit of a challenge, but it works fine. That is bonkers. But it does mean at 36 metres you're going to get through your fields fairly quickly and the tank's not going to run out that quickly. And because you've got a trailer hitch on the back of this as well, if you wanted to, you could run two tankers out full, have one sat by the field and then just switch your tankers over if you wanted to. Um, I just think that's absolutely fantastic. Love it. So, let's just stop there. I'm going to switch to the next one. So, same lorry. I've changed the colour of the tanker unit on this one. And what we've got here is one of the Hardy Mega 2200 sprayer, yeah, sprayer units. Now this will do fertiliser and herbicide. So if you don't want to use digestate or slurry, and you want to use fert liquid fertiliser, you can actually do it with liquid fertiliser. I've gone for the Hardy um, Mega 2200 because it's got a 24 metre spread on this, but this will do exactly the same thing. So I've got the 60,000 litre tanker. That's got liquid fertiliser in it. Um, I've got... Um, Mine's gone blank. The front lifter by Pepe 978. Then got the hardy sprayer. Now as far as sprayers go, these come under crop protection. There is the Coon Deltis, that's only a 21 metre. That's why I went with that one, because it's 24. Because realistically, when you've got the 60,000 litre tanker, doesn't matter what the capacity of these is, it, it becomes irrelevant. I haven't tried a trailed hitch one. Um, I suppose technically, if you take off the um, lifter here, you could potentially put a trailed one on the back of that maybe and then you've got your 60,000 plus whatever and then you've got a much wider reach if you wanted to do fertilizer spread in that way you could do like i say this is kind of it potentially gives you all sorts of options all, all by the fact they added the trailer hitch on the back had they not added the trailer hitch on the back and so i've gone floaty at the front again that's not good so disconnect reconnect and we're fine hook that up so liquid fertilizer 60,000 in the main tank 2,200 litres in the hardy spray on the back so once that's opened now because that sits very low to the ground you can by doing L1 and right stick down you can raise and lower the boom on that still so I can bring the boom up if I want to a little bit and then off we go with our liquid fertiliser spreading, spraying. Fantastic. Right, what I'm going to do is disconnect my tractor unit. Which brings me on to the last one. Now this one's already set up and it's using the same hardy sprayer, but because the hardy sprayer will do fertiliser and it will do herbicide, it does mean if you want to do weed killing, um, you can do the same thing but you can do it with herbicide in here instead. Now, one thing I will say about doing the herbicide, uh, weeds are a fickle beast. Um, you can use a weeder when the weeds are young and it will get rid of them. Um, when they get older and they're more mature, um, you need to use spray. Now, if you are gonna use this rig, this setup, because you've got a truck, lorry, and you've got this trailer, even if you put a tractor unit with care wheels, row crop tires, that trailer hasn't. So if you are going to do weed spraying, killing, you probably want to turn crop uh, crop protection. 
Uh, let's go into the menu. Crop destruction was the word I was looking for. Go into game settings and you might want to turn off crop destruction um, because obviously if you've got crop already in the ground and the weeds are growing through that and you want to get rid of them driving across this with a lorry and a trailer you're going to destroy everything so you might want to turn crop destruction off but that's just a bit you know oh okay obviously because I haven't got a crop in there but I can raise another that and I can do my herbicide spraying if I want to and there you go so combination of a few different mods a bit of ingenuity thinking outside the box thank you Chris for that um, I, just like I say if you find this useful in any way shape or form if it just gets you thinking about options you could do and things you could do using the front lifter and the tanker and combinations of fantastic if you have found it useful in any way shape or form give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always, thanks for watching.